In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best Nigerian meat pie ever. Okay, Nigerian meat pie is one of Nigerians' favorite snacks that is mostly eaten and enjoyed by most Nigerians. And it is served during celebration or any point in time. So what I'm about to do today is to show you how to make the best flaky and tender Nigerian meat pie. So if you're interested in seeing that, you want to stay tuned and keep watching. Now, I'll start by combining my flour, baking powder, and salt together. Now, I'm adding my cold butter, and as you can see, my butter has been cut into chunks. And as I'm adding this butter, I'm coating it with the flour. The reason I'm doing this is to, and while I'm coating this with the flour, I'm also trying to break them into smaller chunks. The reason I'm leaving this butter in chunks is so that they'll be able to melt while baking. They'll be able to melt in the oven while baking and leave some of this flakiness that, you know, we, we want. Now, I'm adding my cold water and all I'm doing is to create a well in the middle of my flour to pour in my cold water and I want to make sure the flour is fully combined with the water so and I'm doing it gradually so I'm going to be wrapping up my dough and I'll be putting it in the refrigerator to chill for a minimum of two hours. Usually I like to do this overnight, so, but you have a minimum of two hours. You want to leave it in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Before this chilling it. method allows the gluten in your dough to settle down and relax and actually makes your pastry dough easier to roll out and cut down so let's make the filling i've added my vegetable oil and i'll go ahead and saute my onions and my minced garlic As always, make sure to check the description box below for all of the ingredients used and their measurements. I'm adding my ground beef. I will fry until the pink color disappears. This should take three minutes.
After which I'll add my chopped carrots and potatoes. Now I'll be adding some water and leave to simmer for at least 3 minutes. This water will help to cook the carrots and the potatoes but we do not want them to be fully cooked. Now I'll be adding my flour, this adds as a thickener. Okay, let's start rolling out the dough and adding the filling. Can you see the chunk butter? That is what I'm pointing out. As you cut out your dough, try to stretch it out a little to give enough room for your filling. You want to press down with your fingers to stick the edges together. And you also want to go around the dough with a fork to create this unique impression. What I'm doing right now is to help to cook the inside of the dough. I'll be back as soon as I'm done rolling out all of my dough. And I'm gonna be brushing the top of my dough before baking with an egg wash. And I'm adding one, table, one tablespoon of milk into my 
egg whites. Now, can you see how beautiful this meat pie looks? Just check this out. This is flaky, tender, and beautiful. Okay, let's check out another one and see what the inside looks like. Now, this brings me to the end of this video. Make sure to like, comment, and I'll see y'all on the other side. Thanks and God bless.